Thank you very much, Russ, for passing on the light torch again for another West Ham Daily. Hope you've enjoyed Russ's My Hammers 11. Um, of course, you're joining West Ham Irons United. My name is Anton, and we're bringing to you our daily updates. Um, game, uh, sorry, not game show. Uh, episode three, yeah, it's um, a whole new game for us and fitting it in within our lifestyle. And I hope you're really enjoying what we've brought to you. We've brought you to you some Lingard news, contracts, um, discussions between apparently Manchester United, which was the other day. Um, Stel brought that to you on Monday. I brought to you the news on a Danish player called Lindstrom, potentially incoming to West Ham, playing at Bromby um, and looking really like a good talent. And then I also spoke to you about the Lanzini potentially going out. But today's video, as you can see in the thumbnail, as you can see in the um, description, the title, etc., is about two of our youth prospect players, Alessi and Baptiste. So we're going to go through some of their, you know, the reasoning why I say what I've said in the title. So let's go for it and get into our daily. Please keep your comments coming in. We'll engage. Actually, let me jump into the comments just now and see who is here. Uh, Michael, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It's good to see you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, Peach, Peach is in the house. <laughs> Peach, mate, how you doing? Hope you're well. Um, uh, Mrs. Cox, all good, thanks, Anton. Hope you're well. Uh, Kent, thank you very much for joining us. And listen, I hope you enjoy this one because I know you're a big fan of Alessi, as am I, and we'll talk to you about it as we go on. Uh, good morning from North Carolina. Patrick, thank you for joining us. What is the weather like over there? Definitely. I mean, it's a little bit warmer here. Um, I'm up in Scotland, of course. Both good players. They are, Peach, absolutely. And hi, Richard. Hope you had a good birthday yesterday. So let's get into it, guys, and talk to you about the youth players. So over the years, of course, West Ham Academy have always produced talent after talent. Talent that have gone on to win many trophies. Unfortunately, not for our beautiful club, though. Um, the Imagine if we had kept some of those players for longer. Who knows what could have happened. But the future does look very bright for West Ham at the moment. We have two of what I could classify as the best young central defenders amongst our ranks at the London Stadium in the form of Ajay Alessi and Jamil Baptiste. I'm going to put up a couple of pictures here for you. And in my humble opinion, and I'm not even exaggerating with this statement, no word of a lie, but I believe these two geezers are the real deal. And the duo could end up saving West Ham millions, absolutely millions in the transfer market. So obviously, in order for these guys to make the step up, there needs to be room in our defence. Therefore, Moyes has huge, humongous decisions to make this summer. A defence which is filled with, let's have a look at the players, Ogbonna, Dawson, Diop, Balbuena, Reed, who is out on loan at Brentford, and recent signing Alves. That's, I mean, you're talking about, what, six, seven really top drawer central defenders at West Ham. But we have to believe the comments that have been made by David Moyes when he says that he wants to build something in the summer and build something which includes young prospects from not just within the club but also around Europe or in the world. Balbuena, he almost certainly looks like he's going to be leaving London Stadium this summer, potentially heading back to South America. Um, but then, you know, other clubs may come in there and pay him some, some some decent wages. But listen, let's talk to you about some of the wages of some of these players. Balbuena currently earning £40,000 a week um, at West Ham. So, I mean, that's another bit of money. We could probably generate a fee for him. Ogbonna and Craig Dawson, respectively, are 33. They'll be 33 and 31 years old um, before the start of next season. Um, and then, of course, the jury is still out with regards to the likes of Diop. And, of course, the jury is still out to um, whether or not Winston Reid can recover. Um, from his injury. I know he's out on loan just now and he's playing reasonably well at Brentford. However, when you look at that, and that's why we've written up there the top out with the old and potentially in with the new, um, you, you, you've got a lot of players there that, you know, one potentially is leaving. Um, and I've mentioned to you there about the, the jury is still out with Diop. And that's because people have got question marks over whether or not his concentration and football intel intelligence is required to make it. At the highest level. I think that if he plays with the right partnership, he could make it. However, that's something for us to, uh, to be seen, definitely. Um, but we have arguably 
two of the very best young central defenders in England waiting in the wings. Alessi, 20, and Jamil Baptiste, 17, are both incredibly talented. I mean, I'm not remotely joking. They've both excelled at youth level, and neither of them have looked out of place when playing for the senior side. Alessi, currently on loan at Cambridge United, has previously had spells at Accrington Stanley, and he's really shined as a player. And he also played in that friendly um, against Ipswich Town, which I particularly watched. I've seen a lot of Alessi. Listen, I'm not even remotely joking you. This guy can collect the ball from the central defence. He can visualise the game. He's got good um, football awareness. He's got a good football brain, and he can read the game really well. He's extremely clever. He's extremely dominating. He played alongside Balbuena in that game. He absolutely dominated our whole defence. He dominated the, 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 the left back the central defender and even the right back and what was in front of him. He collected the ball and he was pinging balls all over the park and he literally pinpoint perfect every pass and he's completely doing that in every single youth game. That's why you've got to look at these players and think, can these guys make the step up? They're never going to make the step up if you've got players who are in the middle of the 30s and West Ham are relying heavily on, listen, we can't complain. The op, uh, Ogbonis had a fantastic season Dawson's having a fantastic season. Diop stepped up recently. Reed, fair play to him, is doing well at Brentford. We've got the young player in Alves. And Balbuena has stepped up this season. But some of these players potentially might be looking at first-team football or later in their careers looking for bigger contracts. And collectively, between some of these players I've mentioned, Balbuena earning £40,000 a week, Ogbonna earning £70,000 a week. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can... Alves is on, a, obviously, a, a kind of lesser contract etc so there's definitely room for these players to head out the way and bring these younger players up and that's why i say to you about saving a lot of money it's a, it, it kind of to me is a little bit like a no-brainer it's a fortune that west ham would be saving but we've actually got them on our ranks and it's time to start breeding these players through into the senior team because we've got a nice balance there you know if you're looking at dawson and potentially um Ogbonna staying to take on those senior roles and develop these maybe it's time that we start to see these two young players feature next season and we've got to believe that he's David Moyes is going to continue to do this Red Bull mould then that is exactly what he's going to have to do is bring these younger players in but again I've watched Baptiste, I've watched Alessi I'm a, a previous central defender y y you know you, you can either see if someone's got it or not and what I will say is when you talk about Diop and people can kind of slate Diop. Get your comments in and let us know your thoughts on, on our central defenders and the young players. But when you look at Diop, I find that Diop struggles when he plays alongside someone similar to him. As I think does Diop when he plays alongside uh, uh, Ogbonna, when he plays alongside Diop. But when you put one of them, either with Dawson or Balbuena, they start to play um, to their full strengths. But these two lads, Alessi and, um, and Baptiste, can definitely raise their game let's go and have a look and see what everyone is saying hi everyone hi lee thank you very much for joining us on our daily what do you think on what i've said lee do you do you agree with the the comments on alessi and baptiste do you think we do you think we'll see them feature next season i think it'll be interesting to see if they actually uh, would patrick it's 18 degrees and rainy oh well i'm having a good day i'm having nice weather up here and i can't complain toby thank you very much for joining us mate hope you're keeping well um Aiden, <laughs> Reed, listen, uh, he's still got a contract at West Ham. It's whether or not West Ham are going to, you know, do they do, do they see Reed as a potential substitute person who can, someone who can sit on the bench and and coach the younger players up, etc. But the point I'm trying to make to you is we've got a solid line of central defenders there, um, and, and we'll and we'll see what everyone is obviously what, what's going to happen moving forward. Hope you had a good day yesterday, Rich. Uh, these are all talking to each other. Kent, you're seeing Winston and Fabian uh, out. Um, yeah, I can see that. I can see why. I can see why you're saying that. Um, but it'll be intriguing to know what... Uh, Mo sorry, I'm wearing this hat. It's all a bit wonky, isn't it? Uh, it'll be intriguing to see what Moyes does in particular with um, with with them. Uh, hit the like button chat. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh, Kent, you're saying Alessi is good. It's too good for under-23 football. If he doesn't play next year, needs to play at top League One club or championship club for a full season, but he definitely could be in the first-team squad. Kent, I, 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 I completely agree with you. I would love to see him feature in the first-team squad next season. I think he's definitely got the ability. I've seen more of Alessi than I have of Baptiste, um, but I really do rate Alessi extremely highly. I think he's got great 
uh, vision, football brain for a young lad. And I think it's his time to step up next season. And if he doesn't, he needs to go to a higher standard because he's definitely can he can definitely play at the highest standard, in my opinion. No problem at all. Um, let's see what uh, other people are saying. Patrick Walsh, Moyes has been slow in bringing the young players along. Bowen and Ben Rama. But then, you know, we have got players in there. Ben Johnson, he's, he's, he's really given a, a kind of chance to. And there's more players... There's more players in our younger ranks that we could bring through, etc. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see. Um, Diop is not as good as when he has to play left centre back. Um, and Michael Hall is saying, I think Diop is a good but inconsistent. I, I agree. I, I think he is. I think he's got potential to be good, and and but he is inconsistent. The, the biggest problem I've got with Diop is if he plays alongside someone who's too similar to him, then it defeats the purpose of what the job they can do in the central of defence. Anyway, keep your comments coming in and let me know your thoughts on Alessi and Baptiste. Um, do you like the idea of them stepping up and, and like I said, could save West Ham a bloody fortune? in the new season, uh, in the summer coming up. I think that they are ready for the top flight football. Why not use them now and get them ready for next season? And Moyes, we trust Anton. My only issue about using them now is, I mean, I think unless he could step up, I'm not going to lie to you, I think he could step up, but we've got a lot of senior players there and I don't think that's what Moyes is going to do. And we're obviously challenging for um, the European position. So therefore, I think that he'll stick with what he's got. But next year, we'll see a big change in our defence. And I think it has to happen. It's, it's definitely time. Um, Aiden. I love Reed. It's just, it's just, it's over. Whether or not he stays around is up to him. Be interesting to see what they do. You know, the, the, a role could be created for a player like Winston Reed, and as such, that he is your complete and utter backup central defender. Um, you know, he plays the gins role. He comes in when he's needed, and 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 sits in the back burner. But we'll see. We'll see. Keep your comments coming in. This is the West Ham Daily brand new show. Um, tomorrow it will be back with Stell. Stell will be back tomorrow with his West Ham Daily. Um, and then we'll have a show tomorrow night for you, an interesting one. So we'll keep you up to date with that in due course. But please hit the like button, keep the comments coming in, and of course, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for tuning in and keep your comments coming in regarding Alessi and Baptiste. Anyway, I've been Anton. This is West Ham United. Come on, you irons.